Hi guys, it's story time. I hope you had a great day and got out in this beautiful sunny weather and spent some time out there playing, running around, whatever you like to do outside. So let's get started with the story. This is called Squeak the Lion and it's by Katherine Sully. <clears throat> Little Squeak was the youngest lion cub in the pride. All the other lions love Squeak. He's so cute and cuddly. They said, isn't he funny, they said. But Squeak didn't want to be cute and funny. Squeak wanted to be just like his older brothers, Bruno and Leo. Bruno was brave and strong. Leo was clever and cunning. Squeak wasn't even his proper name. His real name was Rory. That was a proper lion's name. Squeak was a silly baby name. Why does everyone call me Squeak? He asked. His brothers grumpily. Because when you were a baby, you went Squeak, explained Leo. So everyone called you Squeak, laughed Bruno. One day, Bruno and Leo were going hunting. Wait for me, called Squeak, trotting after them. Squeak hurried to catch up, but soon his little legs were feeling tired. He stopped for a rest and watched as Bruno and Leo disappeared into the tall grass. When he finally caught up with them, Bruno and Leo were crouched over a nest of tasty looking eggs. Suddenly, there was a hiss. A head appeared, swaying above the tall grass. It was a snake. The nest of eggs belonged to her. She lunged at the lion cubs. But brave Bruno roared. He swiped the snake with his paw and it slithered away. Well, Bruno, that was brave, said Leo as the lion cubs made their way home. Did you see how Bruno swiped that sneaky snake? Said Squeak. Just at that moment, Squeak spotted a lizard crossing the path. He swiped the lizard with his paw, just like Bruno, but the lizard quickly flicked out his tongue, smacking Squeak on the nose. Squeak was so surprised that he jumped. The angry lizard continued on his way. Bruno and Leo laughed. You're so funny, Squeak. They roared. The next day, Bruno and Leo went hunting again. Wait for me, called Squeak as he followed his brothers down to the water hole. It was very muddy along the bank and Squeak's paws kept sinking into the mud. It slowed him down. Now I'll never catch up, he sighed as he watched his brothers walking ahead. Then Bruno and Leo stopped. They had spied some paw prints in the mud. These tracks belong to a water buffalo, said clever Leo, sniffing the ground. Let's follow it and sneak up on it from behind, said brave Bruno as he looked along the muddy trail.
by the time Squeak reached the water, there were lots of paw prints in the mud and his brothers were nowhere to be found. Squeak sniffed the ground and looked at the paw prints. I can follow tracks too, said Squeak to himself. And then he set off. He followed the tracks around and around for a long way until Squeak could hear his brothers laughing. He looked up and looked around at the tracks. Squeak had followed his own tracks in a big circle. You're so funny, Squeak, laughed Bruno and Leo. The following day, Bruno and Leo were going hunting again. Wait for me, called Squeak, but this time his brothers didn't want Squeak to come along. Not this time, Squeak, said Bruno. You're slow. You will slow us down. Sorry. Or get into trouble, said Leo. But Squeak wanted, wasn't going to miss a hunting trip. He followed his brothers a little way behind them. Bruno and Leo soon disappeared down a trail through some trees. They followed the trail until they found a good place to set a trap. Clever Leo piled up some berries. Under a tree where a hungry squirrel, squirrel would find them, brave Bruno climbed up the tree and crept along a branch, ready to pounce. Very soon, a squirrel hopped toward the berries. The trap had worked. Bruno kept further along the, bl the branch, ready to pounce. But suddenly, there was a crack. The branch came crashing down. The startled squirrel ran off as Bruno tumbled to the ground. Ouch, roared Bruno. His tail was caught under the branch. Bruno, Bruno was trapped. He couldn't move. Don't worry, Bruno, called Clever Leo. I'll find a way to get you out. Squeak had just caught up with his brothers and was watching from behind a tree. Oh, my tail, Bruno moaned. Hurry up and help me out. Now, thought Leo, all I need is a vine and a heavy rock to lift the branch. But Leo didn't finish because a loud harumph interrupted him. It was the sound of an elephant. Oh no, groaned Bruno. We're on an elephant trail, and the elephants are headed this way, gasped Leo. While Leo dashed about to find a piece of rope, a long line of elephants appeared at the end of the track. Squeak looked over at the elephants, then looked at Bruno trapped under the branch. The elephants were getting nearer and nearer. Leo wasn't going to help make it this time. The ground began to shake as the elephants trampled closer and closer. There's no time to lose, thought Squeak. He saw a gap below the branch that was just big enough for him to squeeze under. He dashed out from the hiding place into the gap and with one more of a roar than a squeak he heaved the branch with all his might the branch lifted just enough to pull bruno out then squeak pulled the branch away the elephants were almost on top of them Bruno squeaked and Leo leaped into the trees as elephants came thundering by. 
Wow, Squeak, that was brave, said Bruno. That was really clever, Squeak, said Leo. The three brothers climbed down from the tree. Did you see the way Squeak came to the rescue, said Bruno? Wait until we tell everyone how brave and clever Squeak was, said Leo. Squeak felt very proud. Maybe we should call you Roy from now on, said his brothers. Squeak smiled, but somehow he didn't mind being called Squeak anymore. The end. That was a good book. Squeak and the Lion. Remember that book, and maybe you guys can read it at home with your parents. Well, it's been good seeing you again tonight, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and you're able to get out and enjoy the sunshine. We miss you guys very much and love you so much, and hope soon that we'll all be together again. So, I will see you Monday. You guys take care. Bye-bye.